exactly sure, Autumn promised, but the longer we hang out with this little litter of puppies, the more I'm thinking the cuddly one is the perfect one for you. I know he doesn't exactly match your coat or anything fancy like that, but just a little cuddly puppy? Don't you think that would be so much fun for you and your stray kitten? And thankfully, the stray kitten seems to be warming up to the idea of having one of these special Yorvik Terriers in the saddlebag with it, but... I guess we'll come back to that once we finish helping out set up the rescue ranch. So hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. We are here at Southwood Peninsula with our lovely Autumn Promise and her stray kitten Tiger Lily. And we are getting ready to actually come around and visit once more with Hugh, the retired mayor, major who is here and building his own rescue ranch so that humans and horses alike can find a place to heal and i think that is just one of the most beautiful projects i have ever had the opportunity to take part in in Jorvik. so i'm really excited to see what he is going to have for us today so hugh what do you think we've got the stables tidied up we've built the outbuildings repaired the fences cleaned up the debris what next Phenomenal. well i'll be the ranch is looking better than i ever thought possible this place will be a haven for humans and horses, a place to heal, a place to celebrate life, a real rescue ranch, just like I always dreamed of. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. If only there were something I could do to repay you. Oh? I'll tell you what, there's more than enough space in the stable. You're welcome to use the stable for your own horses if you'd like. I'd welcome the company, and I know Madison would be happy to have you staying nearby. Huh? Did you hear that? What? <gasps> Whoa, it's a wild horse. What is happening here? So we can now make this our home stable if we wanted to, which is kind of amazing. And I'm super tempted to do that because this is one of my all time favorite places in the world. And we just had this wild horse run up to us. What is happening here, Hugh? Um, that mare seems pretty worked up. It's almost like she wants us to follow. There's no way I could keep up on foot, but you and Autumn Promise could do it. Ride fast, Saga, and be careful. I'll follow as fast as I can. A mare in a panic. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's really in a panic. Autumn Promise. It's your family herd. What just happened here? All right, come on. Oh my gosh, the music. I swear the music has just ramped up the last few updates. Absolutely top notch. I would totally be okay with the Star, Stub like Star Stable OST like soundtrack on the Star Stable website. Holy cow. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, what's this? Oh my gosh! What on earth is happening? I'm sorry, but this is so epic. I have to get a picture of like what is happening here. This is one of the most amazing scenes that I have ever seen. I need just a minute because Autumn Promise, I feel like I'm watching my little one grow up with this drama. What is even going on? Okay, keep going. Oh no, a foal! Are you? There's a foal that's hurt. <gasps> oh my gosh. What's wrong, little guy? Okay, we called a trailer. Mare in a panic. Conditions fulfilled. Oh, oh wait. She's- they're here. Okay. A little foal is- is hurt. And look at this rain. I don't remember it ever raining in this world before. Has it? That's really humbling. What? This is... Hugh? This isn't good. This foal is barely breathing. Are we too late? I need space and quiet to examine the foal, but his poor mother is making it hard to do my job. See if you could calm her down. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey girl. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna make everything okay, alright? Hugh? Are you- are you- um, Thanks, Saga. I wish I had good news about the foal, but it's still too early to tell. He's breathing, and his heartbeat is stabilizing, but I'm going to have to do more tests back at the ranch. Oh my gosh. What? On a promise. Come on, girl. Yeah, good girl. That was really good of you to come rushing into the rain like this. Alright, let's go. So we need to run back to the, the ranch now. What? 
an amazing... I've never seen this rain before. Is it... It's still raining. Oh my gosh. It is still raining. Is it wrong to say this is some of the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen? And now it's sunny again. Wow. It's like lightly raining. This is so conflicting. That was so amazing. Hugh, to properly diagnose the foal, we want a blood test, but that would take days we don't have. I'll have to deduce the most likely condition and begin treatment. Unfortunately, as this is a feral horse born in the wild, we have no medical history for the mother and no details of the birth to fall back on. Statistically, we're most likely dealing with a case of neonatal sepsis, possibly in conjunction with the failure of a passive transfer. To be safe, we'll get him on some antibiotics right away to make sure he's clean, fed, and exercised. Our goal is to nurse the foal back to health as quickly as possible so that he can return to his mother. Now that you've repaired the essential facilities, we should have everything that we need to help the foal's recovery. Take another look at the task board, and you'll find a list of care and treatments needed for the day. I'm glad you're here, Saga. I couldn't do this without you. Now let's save a life. Oh my gosh. Well, remember how I was saying it would be really amazing if we could help rescue horses here? I kind of feel like I should take my words back because that does mean that horses need rescued in the first place. But I'm glad that we're here and I'm glad that we've set everything up so that we can help. So let's do this. When there is a horse being treated at the rescue ranch, the task board will give you the daily tasks to help the patient recover. Also, where is this tiny little plushy unicorn pony thing from, please? Could someone could someone tell me in the comments? Because that's adorable! I want that! We have a horse who looks just like that, who I think would be amazed to have a plushie of himself. Oh, I needed that little break in the, the intensity and the drama. But let's see. Emergency exam. Got it. So we need to examine the foal at the care station. On a promise, stay here, okay? And let's go and we're gonna run inside. Apparently the little guy is in here. Hey, little buddy. Uh, somebody else's horse is definitely standing guard over you. But at least we can get in here. Examine. Remove any plants, plant remains from the foal's mouth. Ah, that might tell us if he ate something very dangerous. We need to take his temperature at the foal station. All right, so we'll hold him in place. If this horse would get off him, that would be amazing. There you go, little guy. Okay, and this is not personal, but could I please move this horse? Is this your horse, ma'am? This is indeed Claire's horse. Ma'am, may I please, may I please see foal? Thank you. All right, there we go. Clean the foal at the washing station. All right, so now we need to go over to the washing station. On a promise, come on. Hopefully looking in and seeing what kind of plant remains were in his mouth will help. I actually have some friends who really struggled with their horses because people would come up to the fence line of their farm and they would actually like feed the horses whatever they had in their car. I mean, I'm talking about like McDonald's french fries, apples sometimes, uh, just random, random things that they would have in their car. And it was actually, oh, Hugh. It was terrible and their horses almost died because you're not supposed to get like don't feed a horse that's not yours you know guys it's not good and you never know what what might really really upset the horse's diet or make them super sick and this just makes me think about that you never know how even just maybe a plant that you grab on one side of the fence and offer to feed to them might end up being something very deadly that they were not supposed to eat that whoever owned them Give the full electrolyte supplements. Got it. That whoever owned them actually took care to make sure it wasn't in their, their zone. Hmm, where are the electrolyte supplements? They're not in my bag, are they? I think that's bread. Electrolyte supplements. Send to care station. What? We could actually do things with him? Okay, where are the electrolyte supplements? But yeah, moral of the story, don't feed a horse that's not yours. Follow. The horse isn't- oh my gosh, you can cuddle with them? You can play with them? What? Hugh, where are the electrolyte supplements? Could you- could you let me know? Uh-oh. Okay, this isn't good. I hope- I hope that I'm able to find the electrolyte supplements. Uh, in here? Would they be- oh, there we go. Now Hugh figured it out. 
Okay, so that would be in the feeding station. And electrolyte supplements. Care. Oh, I see. He will bring the foal wherever I go. So this is actually grooming station. Feeding station is going to be on the other side. So come on, Autumn Promise. We groomed the foal. Now we need to give it electrolyte supplements, which are probably going to be over here. And Hugh will bring him with us. All right. Are they over here? They are. Okay, good. That's interesting. You really have to kind of put the pieces together yourself to figure out what you're doing. All right, so let's come in here. Yeah, I see, I see. So then Hugh will come and carry the little foal. That must be very heavy into the different places. Now we've got the electrolyte supplements. There you go, little guy. There. And now we need to give the foal some activated carbon supplement. Oh, I have some of that for my birds in real life, too. Very important in a surprising way. Hello, Saga. Looks like you've done all your daily tasks. Shall we see how the foal is doing today? The foal is still Ill, Ill and needs proper care. You have currently taken care of this horse for this many days. I expect you need to care for this horse for one more day. That's it. You're done for the day. Make sure to rest up and come back tomorrow. The foal still needs your help. I can't just leave him like that. Oh, I tried to grab this random person's horse. Apologies. I got a little upset. Just like grab the nearest bridle and like throw myself on its back. We are not le Oh, wow. We've got twins there. There's been a lot of twins at this particular ranch lately. It's quite interesting. But we cannot leave it there, you guys. We need to take care of this foal. Uh, how do I get in? Okay. We're going to go into the inn. And even though it's going to be a lot a lot of my star coins. It's going to be worth it if we can take care of this foal. So let's come over here. And Joseph, and Jonas even. Oh, and Jonas, you have a lovely cat I think my stray kitten will enjoy. Ah, uh, I don't need to spend the night. Yes, I do. I need to spend the night. Let me spend the night. Let me spend the night. <laughs> oh, it won't let me spend the night, you guys. Oh my gosh. So, we need to come back for sure. How could I even think straight when the little foal needs our help? I can't believe that. Oh my gosh. And everything is so sad here and the music is just so intense and I just don't know how I'm supposed to feel. But I guess we can't wait. Like, we have to literally wait a day. I can't just skip it. This is going to have me in knots. <laughs> And we need to take care of the foal for one more day, so that's what we'll do. But I mean, I guess that's also some of the painful truth of taking care of animals like that. I know whenever my birds get really sick or whenever I took care of all of our foster pets, it was so frustrating because you just wanted to speed things up so you could know one way or the other, good or bad, what was going to happen. And instead, you had to just be so patient and so, so patient. So that's frustrating, but we can clear our heads with a ride. <laughs> Look at all of those birds. Look at all the grass that she's kicking up. I think Autumn Promise is happy to be here. Let's clear our heads with a ride out along the countryside and let's actually go down and see how the hermit is doing and maybe do a few of his tasks since we're on the island helping out today and possibly even run the race because I would really love to see Autumn Promise be able to grow and learn from this experience here at the island and I have not run that race in a long long time so that would be definitely worth it to you. All right come on Autumn Promise my dear. Let's go ahead and wiggle this way. Doing good. Doing good girl. <laughs> I love his house. Can I live in a little old house like this one day in the future? Also, Autumn Promise, wow. I forgot that all of your herd was so absolutely glorious. I really like that black and gray one. Uh, and let's see if we can help out the hermit today. I definitely, I'm definitely feeling that black and gray one, but that tends to be the color I go for every time. Uh, the hermit's race track, the new, the overgrown with weeds. Oh, heavens above, have you seen it? I've never seen weeds overgrown in the nursery before. Eh, you'll help? Thanks. You can borrow my garden tools to get rid of the weeds from the nursery. All right, let's go ahead and do this really quickly. And maybe I can even sneak a few of the uh, the few of these weed tops in order to feed to my beloved thistle down. And I'm thinking I may I may possibly make this our home stable. 
But our home stable right now is in Dundle, and that also feels like a place that is really close to my heart. And to be honest, it is a big giant forest, so that's probably closer to my heart than than coming here. And it does cost star coins to change where you stay for your home stable. So I'm gonna have to think about it, but there we go. I do know that I'm very happy here right now. And that tomorrow, we're gonna be back a lot sooner than usual because I have to see what happens to that little foal. There we go. All right, and now we have finished pulling up all those weeds for the hermit. Let's come on over. Well, knock me down with a feather. That was fast. You're like a machine. Thanks so much. <laughs> and then let's try the new South Hoof racetrack. You want to ride my new racetrack, you say? Ah, lovely. Of course you can ride the racetrack saga. I'll, I can time you. Come on. I want to see your best performance. All right, and let us go ahead and finish up today and all of its intensity and its emotional drama with one quick race around the racetrack that I haven't been on in absolute ages and also a big boost for our beloved Autumn Promise. All right, come on Autumn Promise. It has been so long I have no idea what we're about to face. There you go my dear. But hopefully we'll be able to take care of her. Oh, work those gates, what? A, 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 an achievement? I have no idea what that's even about. <laughs> There's so much going on in Star Stable all the time and it's always changing. I love it. All right, around the stone circle. Because I don't want our spirits to be down. I know we're worried about the little foal. I hope you guys will remember what I said about not feeding animals that are not your own random food. You never know if it's going to be good enough for them or not or if they might be allergic to something. And it, you may think, oh, but horses eat apples. But like I said, my friend's horses got really sick because they were being fed uh, off their diet, like way too much stuff by people who would just drive by. There we go. All right, nice. There you go, Autumn Promise. We should be able to get our way down now. No problem. That went a lot smoother than I remember. She takes the turns a little bit better than some of my other horses. There. And now, flush from racing in the fields full of flowers, we're back to the hermit's cottage, and we can spend some time resting here with the wild herd. And when I see you guys again, we'll take care of that foal and do our best to make sure that he'll survive, I hope. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye